Okay, this is the smokestack part one. Okay, you want to start with a circle? You want to make the circle's diameter and find the middle point, 0 0.5. You want to finish sketch? You want to extrude it? You want to extrude it out 0 0.25 inches. 0 0.25, center. Rotate so you can see the top easily. You want to create a 3D sketch on the top of the cylinder? Oh, I lied. Never mind. You want to go to plane? You want to click the drop down arrow here? You want to click offset from plane? You want to click that top of the cylinder? And you want to go out 0 0.125. Uh, you want to go out from that plane 1.25. So it should look like this. And you just click point check on uh, Create a 2D sketch on the new plane. You did. You highlight it like this. Create a circle in that center, and you go out 1.25 inches. You finish sketch, you loft the top of your cylinder that you made before to your new circle. Press OK, and it should look like this. Now you want to create a 2D sketch on your top of your cone that you made. Create a circle from the center point out. All the way until you reach the edge, you should automatically lock in like this. Done. Finish sketch. You want to extrude that out. 0 0.25 inches. It should look like this. That's okay. Then you want to do a chamfer. And you want to click the second button, distance and angle. You want to click the side of your new cylinder that you made. You want to click the angle, or whatever, the, the edge, there we go, okay, then you want to make the distance, uh, I don't really want to make the distance, you want to make the distance 0 0.07, I think, 0 0.07, something like that, you want to make the angle, you want to make the angle 0 0.75, Okay, cancel that, go back to chamfer, click on this top face now, and click on the edge, make the, dis make the angle 0 0.75, and what's the distance? Hold on, process. Okay, we're back here. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to, for the chamfer, you want to create a chamfer, and you want to click on this side edge, and then you want to click on the, the edge of it, the top edge. It should look like this, and you want to make the distance 0 0.25 and the angle 15 degrees. Okay, 0 0.25 is the distance, the angle is 15 degrees, you want to click on the second button, distance and angle. Click OK once you've done that, and it should look like this. You have the top of it. Okay, then you want to create a 6 2D sketch on this top part. You want to create a point in the center. So it should look like that. Just create a point across. You want to click finish sketch, and that's all you need. Then you want to go here to hole. You want to hold that. And you want to make the distance. No, it's not the distance. It's... Oh, okay, hold on. This. You want to go, you want to make the distance 0. Point, 0. 0.375 is the distance, not 0. 0.375, 0. 0.375. So look at this, and you want the diameter to be 0. 0.875. So the distance is 0. 0.875, the as the diameter is 0 0.875, the distance is 0 0.375. You want to make a joke point down here. You want to make it flat, not an angle. Click OK. You should have something that looks like this. Now we can probably go through and right click on this, your platform that you made before your plane. Right click on that and just click this visibility check mark. So now you can actually see the bottom without clicking on the plane. Want to create another 2D sketch on that the inside of your hole that you just made? Do it so you can see the very center. 
And you want to create a point in the very center again. Finish sketch. Then you want to go and you make a hole. And this hole, its diameter is 0 0.375. Which is the same as the other one. 0 0.3, okay. 0 0.37. 0 0.37. 0 0.37. Okay, um. Okay, yeah, the diameter is 0 0.375. There we go. Distance, um, two. Okay. So you want to make a hole. So I'm going to that make me. You want to make the diameter 0 0.375, you want the distance, you want the distance to go, you want to click the distance drop down, make it 2, and you want to click on this thing right here. Okay, that doesn't work, so I'm gonna go back to the hole, go back in. Um, let's see, what else do we need? Yes. First of all, make the drill point a flat drill point. Um, fine, make the distance 0 0.15. Oops, 0 point, 1 point, make the distance 1.5. So it does go through it all. So we just kind of chisel it down to zero point. Oops. 